Kent Ott, farming is more than just a treasured lifestyle. It's a business. Over the years, I guess, I've farmed, we've gone through the period where uh, there was the philosophy or idea that you didn't have to manage your business on a financial basis. And, uh, and most of the people aren't farming anymore. Uh, you do have to have a production side, which is very important. Uh, if you don't have production, then you're, you're not going to succeed. But you also have to manage the business side of the financial side of the farm in order to have some success. After graduating from K-State in 1977 in agricultural economics, Kent returned to the family farm near Mulvane, Kansas. Three decades later, he and his wife Rebecca continued to grow wheat, corn, soybeans, and milo while embracing improvements in farming practices. As a student in Dr. Barry Flinchbaugh's Ag Policy course, Kent remembers being inspired to challenge the status quo. He asked everybody if they uh, would be willing to uh, all of the students, if they'd be willing to accept less pay than the kind of person had to go back to the farm. And most of the class raised their hand, but I did. I thought, no, we, you know, we should uh, have the ability to earn as much uh, income off the farm as, as our kind of person town do. We should be satisfied not to, uh, to, you know, not to do that. And so I guess that's been, maybe that's been the philosophy I've had all these years. The Ops credit their success to hard work, willingness to take risks, and faith in God, traits inherited from Kent's father, who has retired from the farm. But uh, it takes a lot of hard work to uh, uh, be willing to change, I guess. I, I think that is important that we're willing to change and, and, uh, and uh, embrace new uh, changes, but also uh, remember we need to learn from the past.